What's up guys, Takedown here, and today I'm going to be basically telling you how I record my videos and how I plan for them. So, I'm a small YouTuber as you guys can probably tell, um, but I do things a different way. The reason I'm sharing this is because maybe other YouTubers don't know how, and they, they, they don't, uh, people trying to start out don't really know how to do, and it's basically trial and error. I mean, the way I do things might work for you, it, but it might not. So, I mean, if you're interested, that's why I'm making this video. So basically, I'll start off by saying how I used to make it, um, how I used to make my videos and plan my videos, which I never planned my videos. It was just all on the spot. Um, but whenever I started this channel, actually, I had a channel before, maybe a channel before that. But whenever I started this channel, it was strictly a gaming channel. So I would make videos where I played with my friends, um, just quick little let's plays of GTA, Call of Duty, like different games, um, not really the best. And I would just upload anything I could possibly get my hands on, make, upload constantly, even if it got zero views or a few views, I would just still upload, upload, upload and promote, promote, promote and whatever. Um, but that's how I used to do things. Whenever I wanted to make one for an event, most times it'd be last minute and it got to the point where it's like I can't make these last minute videos anymore because number one they're not good they're crap they're rushed they're not planned out they're not thought out and they are crap <laughs> but now what I do I have a different schedule than I used to when I started the channel now I work mom works the only time I record videos like this is when the house is clear so most of the time the house is clear whenever, you know, they go to pick uh, mom up from work. Dad goes to pick mom up from work. And she'll leave around 6.30 at night. Or sorry, he'll leave at 6.30 at night and they come home at 7.30 because it takes half an hour there, half an hour home from where, she, where we live to where she works. So that leaves me with an hour a day, three to four times a week that I can possibly uh, record videos. Other than if they're going away for a couple hours or they're going away for a while, I might take that time and, you know, put towards making videos, record it. And if I have like six hours, I'll try to record as much content as I can. I'll plan out, be like, I'm recording all this stuff because it's rare I get that chance. And in my, up, in my personal opinion, whenever you're making videos for your channel, optimize your schedule. You can't always record. So whenever you get time to record, plan it out, plan ahead. If you know, ahead you know i'm gonna have time to record this that day um because people are going away do that that's what i do and i enjoy doing that and it helps out the second thing i've learned to, or taught myself to do is don't do anything last minute anymore i used to do things last minute and then i used to do things i'd only record a week ahead and then i'd be like oh i'm done next week's video so i'm not recording anything now until next week and then i'll record the week after uh, record for the week after but now I've completely flipped that 180 degrees, especially after the new year. I was like, no, I need to make my videos in advance. Main reason for that is because over uh, Christmas break, I did take two weeks off from recording. That's because my parents were home, so they weren't leaving the house. So I had no time to record. But I'm glad I listened to myself and I planned ahead. And I recorded a bunch of videos to do so I can upload over that two weeks and then have videos to upload the week after. So the week after it's like no content. So I still had stuff for then I had a pile of videos made. Uh, but now I, I prepare for that to happen just in case it happens. And it also makes me feel that over the summer or whenever I want to take a week off from the channel or the, for anything, if I wanted to go away, um, let's say I planned a trip to you know Toronto or Cuba or something place and I wanted to go um, on my own and I didn't want to do anything on the channel that time, I would make my videos ahead of time um, just so I have the opportunity to do that. So I might upload while I'm gone, but um, I'm not going to get a chance to record because I'm away. So I plan for that ahead of time. Now, for the, for example, the story time video, I plan that months ahead of time. Like whenever, whenever I started the series, it was January. I started thinking and started planning and I actually planned up to September. So I planned that far ahead of what I'm doing, what week, um, each episode named out, thought out, kind of made the thumbnail and 
uh, I know what it's going to be about. So some of them are short, some of them are long, some of them are funny, some of them are sad, some of them are just serious, some of them are strange, but it's a great series. Um, so I plan ahead, and that's kind of my key to success. Uh, you don't want to do things last minute. It, it, it gets hard. Um, not every... Not, not all the time I can record either. So that hour a day, that depends on work. If I have to work that night, I can't record that night because I'm at work. That's how it was. Um, I don't plan to keep my job too much longer though. I, I, I'm trying to get into courses for videos and editing and different kinds of stuff. So I'll plan on doing that really soon. Because I'm just tired at, the, at, at this point. But uh, I'll continue on with this video. But if you want to know more about that and why I want to leave my job and what I'm getting into with college courses and stuff that I'm looking into, comment down below. And if I see enough interest, I might make a video. I might make a video in the future anyways on this topic. But if I know you guys really care and really want to see this, I'll talk about it in the future how I'm going about things. But um, let's try to keep on topic now. <laughs> so I, I would hate it and I would miss events i remember fourth of july because i have a lot of american friends i wanted to make a gaming video and a wwe video a couple other things all of that had to be uploaded a week after it it's not as it, it is because we missed the opportunity and we had to record after the holiday but i also couldn't upload because my ps4 system screwed up linking my youtube and my ps4 so i had to wipe out my ps4 put everything back on my ps4 it took a lot of time to download all the games but um Anyways, so my main main thing I do now with videos and planning them is I plan them ahead of time. And even to the point, I even schedule when I'm uploading. So if I know, I know, for example, in January, then near the end of January, I knew exactly what major video is coming out each week for February. I wanted one each week, one major video coming out each week, one story time coming out. I planned each week, I kind of wrote down, okay, this day, this video, this video, and this video is coming out, the next day, this video, this video is coming out, because I had a lot of days off. In February, I had one week, four days off straight, next week, four days off straight, so I was like, each day I wanted to upload. And that's the other thing, you have to have a schedule. Now, I don't necessarily mean you have to upload the same day every week. Um, cause I, I can't, cause sometimes I have work, sometimes I have stuff to do, sometimes I can't, but I try my best to easiest thing for me cause it slows my internet down is uploading overnight, but I try to be as consistent as I can and try to schedule it. If I say I'm going to do a weekly video or this series is going to be weekly, it's going to be weekly, or at least I try my best to be without, you know, Fallout 4 series is different. Um, South Park's different. They're based on views. They stopped getting the views or slowed down on the views. So now I do it every week or every two weeks, maybe every three weeks, I'll make a uh, upload a video just because I have um, more priorities for videos to record than those kind of videos. So I don't have time to be able to record one every week. Um, the other thing is you have to kind of ch pick and choose your series, the, the series you do, uh, the videos you record wisely, especially if you're on limited time like I am to record. For example, I plan on doing the Batman Telltale series because it was free in January. Those videos were anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes long. The first two episodes I uploaded, first one got four views, second one got six views, so... Number one, for how long those episodes are, on my limited time, it takes a long time, and it would have taken a long time to finish that series. Second thing, it's not benefiting, like I'm not getting, getting much views from it, so it's like I had to cut that series off really soon. I've done that in the past with uh, Just Cause 3 and Life is Strange, but I do plan on bring Life is Strange back, though, because it's a fun video, and it started getting views again on its own, so it's like uh, maybe it's time to bring it back. Low-key, not a weekly thing. Maybe not every other week, but I will still start to bring that series back. The other thing I would say is um, if you're going to do videos, make videos you like. For example, if you're going to play a gaming series and you're going to have a gaming channel, play games you like, play games that you enjoy. Because if your fans, if the people watching the video sees that you're having fun, sees that you're into the video, even if they don't enjoy the game, if they enjoy what you were bringing to the table for the videos... Chances are they're going to stick around. If they see you're miserable in your video, they're not going to like your video and they're not going to watch it ever again. So that's that's the other key that I've, I've learned. 
um, is only do videos that you enjoy doing. Only for my gaming part, only play video games and make videos on that. On games you enjoy doing. You don't enjoy it, your fans aren't going to enjoy it. Um, but that, that's kind of how I play my videos now. I hate doing things last minute and I almost refuse to. I try to do my things and know exactly what I'm uploading the next week. Even to the point I try to learn, look ahead and see, okay, I get to record this day, this day, this day, even though if, if something happens, I can adjust it. But I know, okay, this day and this, this, this day, I want this and this recorded. This day, I want this and this recorded. This day, I want this, this recorded. Something happens where one day I can't record. Like one week, I knew I had four days to record. It got dropped down to one day to record. And it was like, shit, that sucks. But I mean, I planned for it just in case it happens. So you gotta, you gotta plan for things to happen and things to not go your way. But these are just kind of the ways that I do things for my channel, for my videos. They might work for you, they might not. Um, but just to recap, I plan my videos ahead. I don't do things last minute. I kind of know what I'm uploading when I'm uploading. I kind of know what, what days I'm uploading or what days I'm recording what. I kind of know um, the stuff like that and enjoy what you're doing. So this is a small YouTuber's perspective. I know there might be some hate on this video because it's like, yo, you're a small YouTuber. It's not like I see some small YouTubers making videos like how to be successful on YouTube or what to do and what not to do. And you have less than 100 subscribers. I do too. But like the ones that have less than 100 subs shouldn't be making videos like that because it's not working for them. They aren't doing what they're saying to do in their videos. They're not succeeding. So it's like. Bigger YouTubers or YouTubers with thousands of subscribers, they're the ones that can do those type of videos. But this isn't one of those type of videos. This is just saying how I do things and it might work for you. It might not. I'm not saying or guaranteeing it will work for you. I'm just saying this is how I do things because it works for me on my schedule, on my tight schedule. Um, I hope to figure that up in the future. But like I said, in the middle or somewhere in the middle of this video, I do plan on going to the school to do editing, design, uh, business marketing, social media marketing, and a few other things, t-shirt designs and such, um, music, some music, uh, all, all online courses. So if you guys are interested in that, please leave a thumbs up on this video. I will explain more in a future video. I'll probably do it anyways, but comment down below if you're interested in it and um, I might make one sooner than sooner than later. But I will leave this video here. Take care. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.